cheering as they take off uh, their captain, Granit Xhaka, who looks rather unimpressed by being hauled off at this stage. He's going to be replaced by Bukaya Saka, who started the last four Premier League games. And Xhaka's reaction there, not good. Not good at all as he's virtually cheered off by his own fans. So unsavoury scenes at the Emirates yesterday finished up a two-all draw with Crystal Palace despite the fact that Arsenal went ahead 2-0 within nine minutes. Why don't we start with this because it's everywhere this morning, all over the back pages, all over the headlines. It's a really difficult situation for the fans to be in and the players to be in at the moment. They need to learn how to deal with this and how to progress forward. First of all, is anyone in particular in the wrong here? And if there is somebody in the wrong, who is it? Is it the fans? Is it the player? Is it the manager? Take your pick. You've, you've got a manager bringing off his captain. I have done it in the past, but very rarely do you do that. And then your captain, because that's happened, um, reacts to the crowd. He should have got off a lot quicker. And he's put himself, his manager and his club in a little bit of bother at the moment, you know, because where do you go from here? That, I couldn't read what he said because uh, it was covered over, but that's not good. His reaction there, Jamie O'Hara, he obviously is frustrated for being substituted off. He didn't yeah. expect this, fan, this reaction from the fans by the looks of things there. Is there any excuse for the way that he has held himself, though? No, there's no excuse, really. I think he's, he's let his emotions get the better of him, and that's where he's made a big, big mistake. I'd done this once, not as bad as that, when I was at Wolves and we was going down, we were struggling, and I reacted to the fans booing me. And the problem is, is that it's really hard to come back from that. Mm. And he's going to have to come out and apologise very quickly. And I'm surprised, actually, they haven't brought him out straight away. Because when you react like that, the best thing you can do is hold your hands up and apologise. Come out in an interview, come out on Twitter and, you know, apologise to the fans. They pay good money to come and watch him play, and he's not performing. And the biggest concern I've got is that Arsenal is such a huge club that they've actually lost a bit of pride in their armband. You know, it happened with uh, Fabregas. Mm -hmm. He went on strike. Koscielny went on strike. Gallas gave up. You know, it's all a bit, for me, where's, that's a massive football club, and it should be a huge pride to wear that armband, not walk off and, and let your emotions get the better of you. What about the fans, Ian Holloway? I understand what you're both saying. Uh, the onus is on the player and the way that he reacted. Should the fans shoulder any of the blame here? Because we've seen this in the past have quite a negative effect on players. I think, yeah, I, I, I've always been pretty vocal. Mm. It, um, this, by the way, is Emmanuel Abue. This ah, that's what happened before, ago. yeah. This is bad. He off against Wigan. Apparently, this affected him mentally, reduced him to tears. So this is the effect that it can have. He didn't yeah. want to train. The difference in that, though, for me, is that he's come off distraught. He hasn't reacted to the fans. He's yeah. come off yeah. and is, is upset that that happened. So mentally, that's affected him. With the Xhaka thing, he's, he's reacted to the fans. Mm. And that's where the problem lies. You can walk off and be unhappy, but there's a difference in the way he's reacted. Is that a difference of personality, though? Some re will react in a more emotional way, some will react in a more aggressive way. Yeah, you, you want to show passion, you, you know, but you, you, you want to show it for the club. You know, you want your fans to show passion for the club. You know, I, I've never seen anybody who's booed. Mm. I, I haven't ever seen it help the, the, the club at all, but, you know, you pay your money, you, you are allowed these days to say what you feel, but I, I feel this is a really strange situation because they almost did a uh, player poll of who do you want to be your captain, and the players mm. chose Xhaka. I, I would never allow that. I would choose my captain. I would choose the person that I believe leads and leads when you need them to lead when things are going wrong. And not take him off. And not take him off. <laughs> so, you know, at the end of the day, he is the one who's out there carrying out your orders, really. He's the one you trust the most. So to bring him off, you are making a statement, really. Yeah. What can Unai Emery do now in this situation? And do you think so far he's handled it in a way that he should be, or should more be done? No, I think he should have made him come out straight away and apologise. Mm. I would have sent him out to do the press straight away. Um, 
and get the fans back on side because what's happening now is we're all talking about it, the world's talking about it, and it's it's getting escalated. And they could have nipped it in the bud straight away if you brought him out and said, you know what, I'm sorry, let my emotions get the better of me, and come out with the manager and you have a united front. Now the problem is, is we're all talking about what's going to happen next. Does he take it off him? Does he not? That's a big problem for Arsenal. Hector Bellerin has come out and he said, look, we're all humans. It's time to lift each other up. We can only win when we win together as a team. How do Arsenal move on from this? Because they have a captain in, in Granit Xhaka, who might not be captain moving forward, might not be starting moving forward. They have a big situation to deal with, all in the backdrop of, of still playing in the Premier League. They're going to have to get over it. This is the modern day, you know? Really, it should be... You want conflict healthy conflict sometimes in, in a team, in a team that wants to win. You know, can you imagine Graham Sooners not shouting at, at one of his teammates every now and again? You know, the, 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 the fans will have a go at him because he goes to ground so, so much some of the time. You know, he, 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 he makes the odd mistake, but deep down, Arsenal are bigger than all of this. They need yeah. their fans on board. That was a bad result. They said it was a bad result against Sheffield United. That was a lack of respect for Sheffield United. So, for me, they're just in a moment where, really, the midfield, I believe, is letting them down. He's captain. He's in that midfield area. So, sort it out, you know? That's what the manager is going to get his big money. That's what he's getting paid for. So, don't pass out responsibility. You choose your captain. If you've got to choose a new one now, don't ever do what you did in the summer again. Why ask players, you know? Yeah, I'll don't. take it off him. I'd take it off him personally, as I think they need to protect him a little bit. And that's not, it's not a, a criticism to say, oh, that's, you've done that, take it off you. You're gonna, let's take the limelight away from you a little bit. Let you concentrate on your football, because he's not been performing great. Let him play his football, get back to his best, because he is a good player. You know, don't play for your, your international country if you're not a top player. Get him back to his best, and then talk about it again once it's all right. Because, you know, look, you're all, you're all captains on the pitch, really. You need five or six leaders out there. Just because you've got the armband on, that doesn't make you the the out-and-out out out man. Well, Unai Emery does have a leadership group made up of five, and, of course, he is one of those in that granite Xhaka. Then you've got Aubameyang, Lacazette, Bellerin and Mirza Ozil is also in there. Are there leaders in this team? Is there a standout candidate now that if granite Xhaka isn't a captain come the next game? Obviously, they have uh, the Carabao Cup this week coming up too, which... We probably wouldn't expect to see him playing in potentially, but we'll see. Mm. Is there a standout candidate now that will take the armband? I'm going to go back to what I said just now. As the manager, you've caused yourself a problem now. You let your players choose who they want. Now the fans don't want him, right? It's you didn't want him. Now. It's strange. So what are you going to do now? You know, for me, sometimes you have to take responsibility, whether you want to or not, and you've got to choose the captain. Maybe I'm just old-fashioned. I would say Bellerin is up there. I think he's very... I mean, that tweet he did the other day after the game, I thought was brilliant. Um, I think he gets a lot of respect from the fans. He's been there a while. Um, and then Gendouzi, you know, but then I guess it's, it's a big, yeah. well, very young... Rugby tackle, mate? What was he doing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the rugby... There was a lot of people on Twitter saying, like, give him the armband, look at this tackle it means. I was like, well, hang on a minute, mate. You, you've, you've just... <laughs> That's a tactical foul. Yeah, you, it was a bad foul. You mistimed it. That, we're not going to give you the armband for making a mistake. So, yeah, I, it's a tough... I don't think there's an out-and-out -out leader. There's not a Tony Adams there, do you know what I mean, in that team. There's not a Vieira there. There's not a Petit there. So... Oh, last summer they wanted him to buy one, and he didn't. Yeah. OK, well, all of this at the moment, I mean, that is one big issue that has come from this performance, but it's also detracting from the fact that they were 2-0 up uh, and they ended up going on to throw away that lead and, and drawing the game 2 all. We will get on to the VAR incident, one of two VAR incidents in a moment, but first of all, let's just look at this. 2-0 up within nine minutes. How did they throw it away? Where did it go wrong? Um, <sighs> lack of discipline, I guess. I mean, and potentially... I, I, Palace are a good side. You know, don't take away the fact that they're a good side and they will keep going. They've got some good players. Now, everyone's talking about, like, our oh, Arsenal frightened away, the fans booing off the pitch for the performance. But actually, Palace are a decent team. They've got a good set of players and they will keep going. 2-0 is a sticky scoreline. You know, you, you, you think you're flying, you think you, you, you're running away with it, but actually you get one back and all of a sudden it turns. And you keep going and Palace will keep going. The Premier League is not easy to win any game, home or away. So I just think they probably just took their foot off the gas. Is that, can they afford to do that when you look at top four at the moment? 
felt a little bit parts of the season like this top four was up for grabs for the first time in a long time for teams outside the normal top six. But this kind of form, are they going to finish top four? Probably not. Hmm. Probably not. But the amount of talent they have got going forward, that's what excites me. You know, it's just the, the sheer lack of balance, mm. I believe. That's what they're missing really badly, you know. I like the little fella, Torreira. I quite like him. You know, so if I was going to choose a captain, it might have been him. Maybe he don't speak good enough English, I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, if you build your team from how many you're going to score, you've got to put your, your defence right. You really have, and they haven't done that. You also need, surely, when you're picking your captains, players that are starting and that are going to stay on the pitch. And, and Lucas Trey isn't necessarily one of those. You have a, 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 a captain in the past in David Luiz that's just joined a team. Mm -hmm. Would you say he, he's not worthy of being the captain because of his disciplinary record at the moment? Or um, is he not disciplinary, but the errors that he gives away? Or? I think he's a leader, for sure. Mm. You know, I just think you have to pick someone who's going to be at the club going forward now for a period of time. He's just come in, he's at Chelsea. I don't think he could be the Arsenal captain, the Arsenal leader. I think you've got to pick someone who's there and who's going to be there week in, week out. Um, it's a tough one for me. I, personally, I think they're missing Ozil. I really do. I think he's a guy that he can, he can still lead that team. All right, his work rate's not great, but with the players that they've got now, with Pepe and Aubameyang, Lacazette, if you can put him in that middle of the park and get him playing and being free with Torreira and Genduzzi behind him, surely that's a team that can get in the top four who is, and it's got a leader in there. But was that not the problem, is that he wasn't performing when he was being included? If you put him in one or the other, the, the, the outstanding teams at the minute, Liverpool or um, Man City, they have the ball, he would be outstanding. How are you going to get the ball back with someone like Urzel in your team? This is what I'm saying. The, the modern game is changing. You have to press the second you lose it. Even Aguero has but sure had an argument Terrera about and, doing it. And no, it's a balance. Who else is going to do that up front? They don't... You know what I mean? They don't chase. They don't chase. Like it's like that free Liverpool. role. I just feel like they're missing that that no, link no. in there. With the ball all day long. Without it, Arsenal got a problem. Without it, Arsenal got a problem. Without the ball, Arsenal have a problem. Mm. You know. And their manager is trying to get them to play out and do all the way that. He, and he and he he does it brilliantly. In his last job, he was absolutely outstanding manager, right? But at the moment, it's taking too long. The mistakes that Arsenal have made before Uri. Uma Emery got the job is costing him right now honestly so they are a little bit of a mess <laughs> if I can put it that way because if you look at the team with the ball and without the ball it's not balanced right Liverpool they're strikers they chase they press they do everything they, they got the winning goal yesterday from a fella who lost the ball but won it back and got a free free kick Arsenal don't do that